good morning all of you today we will discuss rainman problem which is a part of relative velocity let me first discuss the types of questions which are asked in this topic so there is a person standing here with an umbrella and there is rain falling vertically downwards so the rain is falling here vertically downwards now if he starts to move to the front like this if he starts to move to the front like this what angle should he keep the umbrella so that he does not get wet if he moves backwards uh, with what angle should he keep the umbrella so that he does not get wet if rain is not falling vertically downwards but it is falling slant how should he move so that he does not get wet so these are some types of questions which will be asked in this rain man problem the terms which we will be using in this concept are v bar man so this is v m bar here is velocity of man with respect to ground next v r bar so that is v r bar is velocity of rain drops with respect to ground with uh, what velocity are these rain drops falling with respect to an observer on ground the next is velocity of rain with respect to man so that is v r m that is velocity of rain with respect to man which means how does this person see the rain drops falling with what velocity does this person see the rain drops falling let us recollect the relative velocity formula we will be using this formula throughout for all the problems which are in rain man we will be using this formula to analyze the questions so important formula all of you velocity of rain with respect to man equals to velocity of rain minus velocity of man if you remember uh, we discussed velocity of a with respect to b equals to velocity of a minus velocity of b so let me take an example uh, to help you understand this concept there is a person standing here and he is holding his umbrella vertically upwards like this rain starts to fall vertically downward so he must hold his umbrella vertically so that he does not get wet due to rain now he starts moving towards left uh, i want you to see the clip and uh, see how is the velocity of rain with respect to the man okay so rain is falling vertically downwards when he starts moving you see that the rain with respect to him is falling in this direction and again when he stops it is falling vertically downwards with respect to him also observe one more thing here that when it is falling in this direction these raindrops some raindrops are falling on him see these raindrops are falling on him so due to that he is getting wet now what we need to calculate here is at what angle he must keep this umbrella so that he does not get wet okay so let us calculate the angle with which the person must keep his umbrella so that he does not get wet due to rain we will choose our positive x in this direction and positive y in this direction let us take some approximate values the velocity of rain is 10 j cap which means rain is falling vertically downward and uh, magnitude is 10 meters per second the velocity of man is 2 i cap which is the man is moving in positive x in this direction he is moving so now we will find what is the velocity of rain with respect to man so velocity of rain with respect to man equals to velocity of rain minus velocity of man this is from our relative velocity formula so that is equal to velocity of rain with respect to man equal to velocity of rain is 10 j cap so we are writing the 10 j cap here minus velocity of man is 2 i cap this is we are getting from here so the velocity of rain is 10 j cap that is this this is the velocity of rain plus the velocity of uh, man is 2 i cap so minus here so minus 2 i cap so i'm putting another vector here which is minus 2 i cap the resultant of these two vectors is in this direction which means the rain with respect to man will be in this direction 
when the man is at rest he sees the rain in this direction when he is moving he sees the rain in this direction so let me play both of these clips together and you can observe the velocity of rain with respect to man in different frames the rain is falling in vertically downward direction if he is moving it seems to be falling in this direction which is 10 j cap minus 2 y cap okay so the question of is in which direction must he keep his umbrella so that he does not get wet so now if rain is falling in this direction if he keeps his umbrella like this then he will not get wet right so we'll calculate the angle with the vertical that he must keep his umbrella so that he does not get wet due to rain so let us say he is inclining the umbrella at an angle theta with the vertical so in this triangle the magnitude of this vector is 10 this is 2 so tan theta is perpendicular by base so the perpendicular is 2 and the base is 10 so 2 by 10 becomes 1 by 5 so theta will be equal to tan inverse 1 by 5 so he needs to incline his umbrella at an angle tan inverse 1 by 5 so that he does not get wet and that is what you are seeing in this clip that he is doing so let us have a look at the clip once more now a quick question to all of you so in this question this man is uh, keeping his umbrella in the vertically upward direction but rain here is falling in the direction as shown right so just have a look rain is falling in this direction the question is in which direction must this man move must he move towards his right or towards the left so that he does not get wet i'll repeat the question once again the person is standing and his umbrella is vertically upward like this and rain is falling in this direction he should not tilt the umbrella the umbrella must be held in the vertically upward direction in which direction must he move in this direction or to the left so that he does not get wet due to the rain the answer to this question will be posted in the description as a video link after 2 days